put in the chat. Yeah, we need to do that. Yeah, nigga. Listen, I woke up and I took some footage of me um, wiping off the mirror and stuff, like with the fog on the like the mist on the mirror, and like wiped it off, and like and then you could see me after that, like it was kind of like a Hollywood shot. And then um, I didn't save it, so today's vlog is gonna start off with this footage of me in my room. And for anybody that sees the background and says I need to clean it, nigga, I know. I just got back from Boston and I just threw everything out of my luggage. We're setting up for my take. Here's Kev. Here's Jason. Y'all say hi. Hi. What up, man? All right, that's Kevin. Jason, say something. What's up, baby? Nate vlogging. This is me vlogging, Nate vlogging. All right, we just finished my take. It was hella funny. It's getting a lot better, man. I think it's coming along. They said, uh, Kev said that we had 346 comments today on the live version of the show. It kind of sucks because I don't know if there's analytics for it to see like how many people are tuned in, but the way I see it, when you get 346 people saying something about your show live at that time, you got an audience. So we're going to keep plugging away. Um, it goes from live over into like a regular style YouTube video and then... Um, you know, then we see then we see the views from there. But it's best live because they run like 30, 45 minutes long. And that's a that's a I mean, it takes some guts to click a 45 minute YouTube video if you weren't in the original live session. But anyway, it's going good. We're gonna um, we're packaging it, seeing if we can get it for some television stuff, and we're gonna keep rolling. Um, I'm about to jump in the whip and head out to Kev because we're about to shoot a um, we're about to shoot a sketch because one of their friends is a a, um, a videographer from Chicago and she's in town and she's trying to get it. We about to shoot a sketch, a sketch, a sketch. What? Is that spinach? Yeah, the sprinkle one. Bell peppers? Okay, easy mu uh, mustard, easy ranch. Yeah. yeah. Olive oil. Gonna fuck these subs up. I'm hungry. Is that my dad? The use the snake ball to take booze. Just from the exterminator, but in the car matter, cause I'm a smooth operator. So so smooth. Shiny. Yeah, everybody's shiny. It's hot as heck. This is Southern California. Uh, this is that scooter life. The Fredericks, the Fredericks go are about that scooter life. Joe, say something to the camera, man. Say hi, Joey. Hi. Yeah, that's JoJo and Liz on that. They on their scooter life. JoJo got two wheels on his. Liz, are you walking to get Zay No, they're rolling scooters together. Huh? Are you really riding a scooter as a grown adult woman? She is. Is it fun? How much fun is it? Hella look. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I, She's know, I know. I'm almost Let dirty. me find out you niggas went to the best restaurant in California. It didn't bring me nothing. There's three cups. Is there three meals? Yeah. I want you guys to see the face of an inconsiderate good friend. I thought you were. This you is. Said you the said face. you were hungry. This is the of an inconsiderate good friend. <laughs> Chick fil A is so good. It doesn't make any sense. We have Doolin's left over. You Whatever, can... man. You had Chick fil A in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Chick fil A is so good. They came out against gay people, and I seen a gay couple at the drive thru like, we don't even care. Okay? We want some chicken, and we want it now. Mm -hmm. Nate, this is Santa Cole, filmmaker, acclaimed. She, uh, it's Nate Jackson. Okay. Where you from, man? Shut down, huh? What side? South. The thick side. Swag. Alright, man, I'm here uh, at um, Kev's house. We're about to do the sketch. Um, you don't know, Randy! <laughs> and this is... Sanco. Uh-huh. I'm directing. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got a production company, huh? Yeah, Overexposed Productions, Chicago, Illinois. You can check that out. Overexposed Productions, no E. So it's X-P-O-S-E-D. Com. There you go. So you from the shot? Yes. What part? Southside. Okay. Okay. You ever stab somebody? No. Shoot? No. Rob? No. Choke? No. You do hair? No. Eyebrows? No. You do got some fierce eyebrows. Let me see. Girl, your eyebrows <laughs> are snatching edges, girl. I see it. I learned that off of Kevin's How Gay People Talk video. <laughs> snatching edges, girl. Um, yeah. 
We out, y'all. Y'all looking for the sketch. It's going to be up in 12 days. No question. <laughs> Holla. Yeah, so dig this, right? Uh, we just wrapped over there, uh, or I wrapped my scene shooting the sketch with Kev and Jay and, and, and that situation. Um, I had a call time for 5.30 to be on set of uh, BT Kingsley and Tony. So I guess Tony wrote in is directing it and then BT is uh, the star of it. Um, BT's my roommate and we were on the tour that I put together called the New Jack City's Comedy Tour. And Tony's my manager. They called me and asked me if I could come down there early. And I'm like, wait a minute, how is that possible? Considering I just moved my whole day around to make the 5.30 happen. Um, and flew to LA to shoot the thing. <laughs> they called me and tell me I'm replaced, and now I'm riding across LA to get to the set to see if I'm even in the damn thing anymore. Because that's, I guess this is what they do in LA. They get them flew all the way to California to shoot the motherfucker. Anyway. All right, so I just arrived at the location of uh, the scenes I'm in for the short film. And um, I'm about to go in there and try to figure out what the hell's going on. Why a nigga done flew all the way to Los Angeles to shoot the motherfucker, getting replaced and shit. <laughs> we gonna see what the fuck. Yeah, uh, so it's official. I done got replaced. Asia Kim will be playing my part in the short film. Uh, I think we're gonna try to work something else out a little later. Um, <laughs> They got, they got food though. Everybody's asking me if I want to eat. I've already eaten, I'm good. So, we're gonna see what happens, I don't know. I got a blazer in the truck, and whatever lines they give me, I'm gonna murder, but in the meantime, fuck. Uh -huh. But if Derek doesn't show up, like you, like, I'm not saying If Derek does, does a, a name, then I have to do the same thing. I just had Asia replace you. She was there, I didn't know her. What did Nate do? Nate came, okay, this is what Nate did. Nate flew all the way from Boston, back from Boston, after, after being there during the, the terrorist attack. He flew all the way back to the West Coast, detoured going back home to the Pacific Northwest, came to L.A. just to be in my movie, okay? That's what he did. But yesterday, he came by the set, when he wasn't even scheduled to be there and hung out, okay? That's, and that's cool. He hung out on a day where he wasn't even called. On the day that he's called, then he had a slight schedule change because the film business oftentimes juxtaposes and changes. He couldn't come at the new time because he was busy, guess what? Filming somebody else's stuff, okay? But am I jealous? No. Do I care about that? No, I'm happy that he's doing other stuff. But because of the fluid nature of film, you never really know, so that's why you call people two, three, four hours ahead of time so they can be there standing by in case things change because it's always a fluid situation. Like the police officer, it's a fluid situation. It's an ongoing investigation. No, but it's, it is fluid. That's the nature of film. So he shows up. You know, when they call him and ask him, can he come? He say, oh, I'm busy. He's like, how can you be busy when you flew all the way here to be in this movie? You should be on ice all day for us, just one day. But he couldn't. But I understand. But now he's here. And we had to replace him with another young lady. I would much rather have Nate, I know Nate Jackson. I, I'd use a total stranger who did good and all that. But only because I had to because we're on the clock. So we're moving on now. They just came to tell me we're, we're behind time. So I'm moving forward. So now I'm moving to the next scene. And if all works out, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have you. But if it works out the way it just happened against him, so to speak, then he'll be back in the same position he was in in the first place. Boom. Boom. So there you have it, right from the horse's mouth, the horse being my manager, who I do truly dearly love. I also want you guys to see that as we speak about that, Derek Ellis is coming up the sidewalk in a suit. <laughs> so I probably won't even be in the damn thing. And it is extremely frustrating. Um, the fact of the matter is, last night before I went to bed, I had my roommate, who's the star of this thing, called the lady who's in charge of the picture, uh, calling to let everybody know time. Got the time I was supposed to be here, which is 5.30. Right now, it is 4.25 and I've been here for about 20 minutes. So I am an hour and 20 minutes early before my thing and still got shot out of the film. So I guess the moral of the story is uh, this Hollywood life thing, man, there's a lot of stuff that you can't control, so you gotta focus on the things you can. Even the people who love you and are working for you and got your back, it sometimes still doesn't work out, so you gotta just roll with the punches. Uh, that's gonna be the moral of the story.
hopefully uh, the scene I was supposed to be in is as good as it possibly could have been. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just like be an extra or something. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this sun kissed and um, try to find the positive out of this bullshit. All right. Peace. Are you taping? Yeah, this is what they did when wrote me in. I'm going to do a set like I'm one of the comics on that joint. Here's another one of the actors from it. Talk to, talk to, talk to, How y'all doing? We're doing The Joke Thief here, directed and written by the Tony Spires. Better believe it. Brothers doing it. Brothers working it out. Nigga, who are you? I play Kenny Lang. I play the comic that he steals the joke from. And I show him at the end that you'll get a foot in the ass if you steal other comics material. Nigga, who are you? Oh, William L. Johnson. Uh, actor, entertainer, extraordinaire. And I'm here to get under your hair. That shit is rhyming. I'm rhyming right now. I know! <laughs> I'm rhyming. Man, it's going down. We're back here, uh, literally, behind the scenes. Uh, I feel like we are in a spot where somebody got jumped to the MS-13 last night. But we about to go in here and uh, take over the world, one scene at a time. People who smoke these, are you really, really trying to quit? Or are you still just like to fucking blow smoke? <laughs> Action! <laughs> 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 Before we discuss this. <laughs> no, I'm serious tip though, man. I'm trying to date out here in LA and it's hard because all the women are so materialistic and they be lying to you. And I'm looking for a woman that's keeping it real. Who's keeping it real in here? Just clap. Who's Everybody know how they stuck together. People know how they stuck together. In LA, women lie to you. They say, I got it together. You don't find out until it's too late, man. I went back to this girl's house. She was talking about we was going to do it. No, sir. I ain't got no bed. <laughs> In a bedroom. Volunteered your time and energy. We appreciate you so much. We love you. We hope to see you on this set again soon. Thank you very, very much. God bless you. Woo! Let's see what punches. Yeah, 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 feedback with, man. Hey, 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 Shout out to the kids, Nate Jackson. The booty Jackson. mouth, the booty mouth, you got the booty lips. As soon as I cut this goddamn mustache off, I started checking out white vans with no windows. And little girls got sex as hell. I don't know why. You're a shining star, no matter who you are. You just got at least hilarious. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a different. <laughs> Yo, so we just wrapped on the set, had the martini shot. That's what they call the last shot of the day because usually after you shoot all damn day long, everybody is ready for a drink. So we just wrapped. Um, it ended up working out, man. They wrote me into, um, they wrote me into the, the, the closing scene of the, of the final, the closing, the final scene of the, uh, of the short film. Um, your boy had to finagle some lines in there. So I did like a stand-up set like I was one of the comics. And then... Uh, you know, finagled some funny in the end of it, and um, it should come out really good, man. The way you know they they had it really, they had it set up real good, man. Lots of lights, cans, gels, a um, really phenomenal crew. Uh, obviously, an awesome director, a good, uh, great talent attached, and um, it should be dope. In the meantime, man, I'm about to get in this crib and um, upload this video, kick these shoes off, wiggle my feet on this carpet, and uh, call it a night on some Call of Duty. Yeah, buddy. Make a move, make a move. My lollipop, Julie. Lay down on the cover, let the lover do it. It looks like 